Welcome to the Hour of Harvest. It is great to have you with us as we worship the Lord. Sit back and enjoy as we share the good news of the gospel. We invite you to participate along with us as we sing songs of praise, read the Bible, and pray for those in need. The Hour of Harvest prayer team is standing by to take your prayer requests, praise reports, and lead souls to the Lord. You may call us at 606-464-4250 at any time during this program. May this program be a place where you feel accepted, loved, forgiven, and encouraged in the Lord. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls with the unconditional love of Christ from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. From our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your special guest host, Edith King. Good evening and welcome to our nightly service here in the studio of WLJC in beautiful Beattyville, Kentucky. And this is our Hour of Harvest segment. We'll be here for one hour. We have a great singer coming up and we're, we're just going to pray with you, sing for you, and we're just going to have a wonderful time tonight. So stay with us. We'll be here from 7 to 8. So we've got some pledges. It's already, I mean, some pledges. I'm still on telephone. But uh, I do want to thank people for pledging for our telethon, helping us to stay on the air another another year, hopefully, aren't we, Lonnie? Yeah. So we have one from uh, grandson Josh, Science Hill. He's a diabetic and has two or three eye surgeries. Also for grandson's wife and three kids, Proof Collar is 80 years old and can't walk. Uh, Supervisor Phil from Bath, for the Lord to be with him and give him wisdom. So we have several here. Kathy's called in for herself from Irvin. Problems with left breast. We'll be having a biopsy off for Michael in Brazil and has a kidney disease. Mary's called muscle spasms on her right side and also sinus and allergy problems. Alan called in for himself. He's from Breathitt going through a situation right now and God knows all about it and pray for his whole family. And uh, let me tell you, God knows all things, and he'll take care of it for you. Lonnie, you have a few prayer requests, sir? Let's well, I've got go one ahead. from uh, Bedford uh, County uh, for Kathleen. She fell and broke her hip. Ooh. And then we've got uh, one for Janice from Rockcastle County. Had, had a knee replacement three weeks ago, still having a lot of pain. Uh, Hope she hope she heals up real quick. We need to get her out there singing. But you Buddy know. and Janice yeah, are Buddy great, Janice. wonderful friends. Ab absolutely. I got one from Laurel County for self, uh, called in by Mary. Uh, allergies and stomach issues. Also for husband Paul, two sons, and for our nation. Yeah, we need to pray for our nation, don't oh, we? Oh, yes. We got one uh, called in uh, for self, uh, Brenda, uh, prayer. Uh, we got one called in from uh, Madison, uh, Terry, herself, wants the Lord to have, have his way in her life, also for an unspoken, also for two friends, uh, one has marriage problems, and the other one is sick. Okay. And that's all I got here on these. Well, you want to go, go on, Lonnie, you read your Bible verse for the night. All right. People really enjoy this part of it, so yes. we always want to be found doing reading God's Word before oh, we man. start anything. Yes. Uh, we're going to be reading from Psalm 95, uh, 1 through 3. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. Mm -hmm. You know, I just, I just love uh, playing music and Going out and singing and, and uh, going to different churches and oh, yeah. making all those different friends and stuff. You know, uh, I'd like to thank everybody that's had us this year. Yes, it's a wonderful time in the Lord, isn't yes, it? it, it is. And yeah. those Bible verses tells you everything we need to be saying and doing. Absolutely. We need to be uplifting God's name and God's name only. Yes. So we need to keep that in mind every time we... You listen to something or talk about something or say something, we need to remember these Bible verses yes, because we do. it tells us we should just be concentrating on God. Mm. But the Lord spoke that to me a long time ago. So I'll be doing it if it doesn't look with my name. So yes. we need to think about that. But we know God is still God and He's still in the saving business and He's going to take care of things he's for us. So, yes, He sure yes. is. And I'm so thankful. And 
And Margaret, for the ones that um, no concerned about Margaret, she's fine. She just had some appointments and stuff today, and she just needs to stay home tonight, but she's okay. So I just wanted everybody to know that about that. Margaret will be back soon. So, yes. but uh, we're gonna we're gonna pray, and then we're gonna get her brother over here to start singing for us, Lonnie. So yes. we'll pray. Lord, dear Heavenly Father, now we come before you with a humble heart, just thanking you, God, for your goodness and grace. And God, we thank you for that mercy that comes new every day, and we thank you for that. Thank you for salvation, our walk yes, with God. you, and, and leading and guiding us every day. Oh, we pray for the station. We pray for our workers here and the staff, and we pray for our singer, and we pray for our phone operators. And Lord, just lead and guide us this night. Yes. God, only you know what needs to be done. But God, we know one thing about you're still in control and you're still in the saving business. Yes, this God. world may tell us otherwise, but we know better. And God, we thank you for the assurance that you're still God and you're still on your throne, and we thank you for that. And Father, all these prayer requests we've already read. We know you already know where they are. God, if they're a mile down the road in another country, another state, you know them. And God, yes, we you. thank you for the assurance that you do. And God, we thank you for the privilege of coming to your throne with our petitions. And God, we don't have to go before anyone else. That precious yes. blood that you shed on Mount Calvary, you gave us that privilege, and we thank you for that. Now, lead and guide us this night, God, and help us to be true and faithful to you always. Now, we ask all these things in your precious name. Amen. Amen. Okay, we have Daryl Baker with us, and he's from Fisherville, Kentucky. Where is that, Fisherville? Louisville. 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 Okay. His number is 502-316-3070, and you'll be speaking with Daryl Baker, and we'll give this number out several times. 502 316 3070. We'll be giving that again at the end. So, and, and Dottie and him has it upstairs too if you miss it. So, he's from Fisherville, Kentucky. His name is Daryl Baker. So, God bless you, Daryl. It's good to be here tonight and uh, look forward to, to sharing God's word with you. Uh, hopefully, uh, something that you hear tonight will encourage you, will strengthen you. Uh, most importantly, if you don't know the Lord, reach out to Him. The Bible says His ear is always open unto your cry. Give give Dottie and the crew up there a call, and they'll pray with you. The uh, great thing about being a Christian is that you don't take a single step of it by yourself. There's somebody with you, and God said that He'll never leave you or forsake you. So listen to the words of these songs, and, and hopefully they bless you tonight.
God's done anything for you, say amen tonight. He's worthy of all of our praise. Don't just, don't just praise him in, in, in quiet. The Bible says to go and share a testimony with others because they are overcomers by the word of our testimony. And that's what this song talks about coming up next. It says, somebody testify. wants his people to tell the good things that he's done. Has God done anything for you lately? Won't you call in here to WLJC and, and, and tell your praise report. Uh, give them a prayer request. Dottie and the team will pray with you. And, uh, and I promise you that you'll feel better afterwards. Amen? Go ahead with the next song.
just want to speak the name of Jesus over every heart and every mind. Because I know there is peace within your presence. I speak Jesus. I just want to speak the name of Jesus till every dark addiction starts to break. Declaring there is hope and there is freedom. I speak speak the name of Jesus tonight the enemy has to flee fear has to leave chains get broken when we speak the name of Jesus amen 
All it takes is just calling out to him. His heart, his, his ears, the Bible says his ears are always open to our cries. Call here to the, to the station tonight and, and uh, the team will pray with you. Uh, uh, there's prayer requests that are coming through. Uh, God, you, you, can't, you don't get if you don't ask. The Bible says that if you, if you ask, that He will give it to you. If you seek, he will, you will find. If you knock, the door will be opened unto you. So what I'm saying tonight is if, if you need something, if the devil's bothering you, if, if, you're having, if you're having problems, take it to the Lord in prayer. Amen? I promise you, He'll never, he'll never let you down. He'll always be right there. Listen to the words of this song. God's heart is for you. It says, the heart of the Father. God. 
God, we sing praise. Oh, yes, we do. I found this to be true. When I begin to praise God, all the doubts and fears and worries that you have, everything that's, that's bottling up around you seems to fall off. Amen? I found it so hard to sing praise to the Lord and not have a smile on your face. So when you're going through something, when you're feeling down and discouraged, just sing a praise to the Lord. Just thank Him for the things that He's done and everything starts to turn around for you. Amen? Listen to the words of this song. It says, it says that uh, there's, there's love in the heart of God.
Are you thankful tonight for the love of God? Are you thankful for His goodness, His grace, His mercy that He shows upon us? The world wants to tell you today that there's a, there's a different type of love. They, they preach about a different type of love that, uh, that's not biblical. But I, I began reading in the Scriptures, and, and I began reading about God's love, and I find out that God's love is a sacrificial love. It's a love that, it's a love that looks past our faults. Aren't you glad tonight that He looks past our faults, and he's, he, he looks deep into our heart, and He sees a soul that is in need? He sees somebody that, that's hurting. He sees somebody in pain, and He'll reach right down, and He'll pick you up, and He'll dust you off, and He'll, he'll walk with you the rest of the way. All you have to do is just call upon His name tonight. This next song I'm going to sing is called Bring the Rain. It, just, it talks about regardless of what comes your way. We, it's, I know it's Thursday. It's been like a Monday for me today. It's kind of a, kind of a rough day. But I, I promise you that regardless of what you go through, uh, the, best, the, the worst day with God is better than the best day with the devil. Amen? And uh, sometimes we, to get people's attention, they, they look at us when we're going through those hard times. They look at us when we're, when we're down and we're discouraged, and they want to see how we react as Christians. But when we hold on with faith, when we can still stand up and we can smile and we can love and we can give... My goodness, that is a testimony all by itself. So listen to the words of this song. It says, bring the rain. Through. The question just amazed. 
is holy. He's perfect. He's everything that you and I need. There is nothing lacking in Him. So if you'll call tonight, Sister Dottie and the team will pray for you. And you can find contentment. You can find peace. You can find fulfillment. You can find completeness in Jesus Christ tonight. If you don't know Him, there's mercy for you. You may think, well, I'm, I'm beyond that. I, I can't be saved. I'm you don't know what I've done. I don't have to know what you've done. The light of Jesus doesn't light on our scars. He lights through our wounds. Amen. He shows us from the inside out. Amen. And I'm glad today that, that he took me where I was and he made me something wonderful. And listen to the words of this song. This says, Mercy came running, it's, and it's running for you today. Thank you, Jesus. There was a holy place 
the day that mercy came into your life. Amen. Got one more song for you tonight. And uh, this song is kind of like my testimony. Um, I'm not one that likes to waste a lot of time. I'm, I'm, I'm somebody that likes to stay busy and likes to try to, likes to, try to get into a lot of things. Uh, I'm, I'm thankful I had the opportunity to to record a couple of CDs in the past year. I've written five books in the last two years, and God has truly blessed and, and, and worked through our ministry. And, uh, and this song just kind of exemplifies all of that. Uh, it's a little bit of a different song, but the title of it is also different. So uh, listen to the words of this song, and I hope it blesses your heart tonight. Go right ahead. Be different. I want to be changed. 
Bob, you want to come over and join us here on the uh, set? They, he does have CDs, I heard him say. So he is from Louisville, Kentucky, and his uh, phone number is 502 316 3070. 502-316-3070. So he's going to put his mic on here and he's going to help us read and pray over these final requests here. And we have several. Bill's called in from Floyd and he's really dizzy tonight. Glenn's called in. Joyce has called in for Glenn and from Jessamine in hospital and now from many strokes. Charles has called in, needs a, help, uh, needs a touch from Morgan. Kayla, himself, mother, Ruby Stidham, has heartaches. Uh, Billy's a singer him a song for his birthday. So, uh, happy birthday, Billy. Uh, newborn nephews, and also pray for Margaret. If you won't give him a few of them, honey. Himself and family. Terry's called in for Manaphy. Uh Pray for himself, and uh, Silas is called in for McGoffin. Churches and nursing homes, they sure need it. Anne's called in from Leslie, eye problems. Herself, uh, uh, Nadine has called in for herself. From Perry, she has headaches and COPD and back problems. A jury's called in for Harvey from Perry County. And uh, a mother's called in for Willie from Flemingsburg and has heart surgery to Mars. So we need to remember Willie. Uh, Martha has allergies and her daughter has heart problems. Nancy's called in for her and her family from Flemingsburg. She has a heart monitor uh, put on yesterday. So... Remember all these? Let's go on. We'll go on over to the you know. All right. Uh, Colleen has called for her and her family from Connecticut. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for, for surgery on her eyes. Doing great, and she's enjoying the singing. Thank you, Colleen. Uh, for daughter Becky Smith, uh, that's Doris Godby calling in from Pulaski. Her daughter has stage four lung cancer. Let's pray for her. Uh, for Lewis from Brenda, in right here in Lee County, heart surgery tomorrow. Yeah. Let's keep them in our That's prayers. Several, we've had several heart yeah. mm -hmm. surgeries tomorrow. Uh, Janet in Fayette County has skin cancer and really enjoying the music tonight. Thank you, Janet. Steve, uh, call, call, uh, Leon called in for Stephen Russell County, heart surgery, and he's having uh, problems, not doing well. Mm -hmm. uh, Linda Cole and Floyd calling for herself, uh, Ray Hall, Roger Hayden, and Christy Johnson. I hope I'm reading that right. Uh, Jerry called in for Sean in Laurel County. Didn't, didn't give any details, but God knows the details. Yes, exactly. uh, Bill called in from Madison County, and Rebecca called in from Madison County with unspoken requests. So. Yes, okay. Yes. There's several prayer requests here that we need. It sounds like I just heard some drop again so yes. we'll wait a few minutes on those but uh, uh, Daryl uh, do you have any recent coming up urgent things coming up or any bookings or anything that you'd well, like uh, I, I, I do a, uh, been trying to do a, a monthly Facebook uh, live wow, okay. concert mm -hmm. I've got a concert Saturday night on okay. my Facebook page that's at Daryl Baker Ministries Okay, that, that'll be Saturday night at 8 uh, and and Actually, right now, that's the last thing that I've got going on for the okay. year. Okay. Uh, well, uh, God can open doors quickly. He does for us. Well, we sit sitting over. We got two, yeah. so we thank God for each one of them. Praise friend the Lord. has a back problem from, uh, called in by Jeremy from Fayette County. A friend and her mother needs prayer. So we need to remember each and every one because they're very, very important. And we've read over them, and I know the ones that took them upstairs praise over them. So we're just thankful. And, and I'm going to give these to you two gentlemen here, and we'll, you can you anoint on them and uh, go from there. I'll pray over it, brother. Yeah, I'll pray yes. over them. Kind and gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we, yes. we thank you, Lord, for each of these that we're watching tonight, Lord. And, Lord, the, 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 needs, are, the needs are many. There are some that are having uh, surgeries tomorrow. I, I remember one, Lord, with, with stage 4 lung cancer, Lord. Yes, there's Lord. things that seem impossible for us, yes. Lord. They're, ju they're just little things for you. Yes. And, Lord, we stand in faith and we're believing and we're trusting that, that not only that you hear our prayers, but that you're yes. faithful and just to answer our prayers. Yes. Lord, and there's, you, there's not a need, you, there's not a heart that yes. goes unnoticed. You said yes. that your ear is always open to our cry. Yes. And Lord, I believe that just like in yes. the Bible times, Lord, the miracles that took place, 
You're still able to do those things today, Lord. Yes. Trusting and believing, Lord, that you will that you will answer these requests, meet these needs, Lord, and that each and every one will know, uh, will feel your hand upon them, Lord. Yes. In Jesus' name, Amen. we ask these things. Amen. 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 And we've got a friend that needs a special, has a special prayer request. Yes. He needs God to intervene in that. We need to remember them because going through a rough time right now, any longer. Yes, yes. But God knows it all, and we're so thankful that God does know everything. And you know, we we don't read last names here because we just think it's a private thing, you know. But um, you was just saying that they didn't mention the name, but God knows everything, doesn't mm, yeah. He? Yeah. And I'm so thankful when I wake up in the morning, I don't have to remind God anything about me. Because he's there and he knows then mm -hmm. just as soon as our eyes open. And you know, Sister Edith, uh, there, there, was a, there was an old song, I can't remember if it was in the 80s or in the 90s, but sometimes we don't even have to have words. There was a song yeah. that said, tears yeah. are a language that God understands. It's the truth, it's mm -hmm. true. And I know when we go through things ourselves personally, sometimes it's hard to pray for yourself, isn't it? It is. But you know, when I have gone through difficult times, I could actually feel people praying for me. Mm -hmm. They was interceding for me, and I, and I believe it's, I believe in the unity of prayer. Amen. Because I mm -hmm. believe we need to bombard heaven and hear all those different voices calling out people's names, and it just, I get excited to think what heaven's going to be like. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing, and and I, I tell people all the time, I don't feel at home in this world, but I'm glad I don't, because mm -hmm. I know where I'm going, and it's going to be such a better place. And and God's been so good to us, and I know yes, He has yes. you too. And uh, WLJC has been here a long time, and I'm so thankful that the telethon went really well so we could stay on the air and, and reach out to people, those nursing homes and people that can't go to church anymore. And there's a lot of them out there. You wouldn't mm -hmm. think that, but there are, you know, that just can't go anymore. And, and sometimes churches don't have buses that run, but some do have buses that run. But it's good for WLJC to stay on so we can minister to them and witness and win souls to the kingdom of God. Because Jesus is coming and he's coming soon. And I watch for him every morning when I get up. I think, well, he could come today. Yes. You know, so we just need to be ready. And he tells us that in his word. And that verse that you've read and read a while ago, Lonnie, in Psalms. Mm -hmm. Make a joyful noise this week. Tomorrow, go out of your ways to say something kind or do something good. Yeah, and I, I pray that every morning is my prayer. Help me say or do something that the world will see you in me if yes. nobody else. And if we do that, we'll have a better place to live in. Because we're, and I say all the time, we're in trouble down here. Like God doesn't know that, you know. <laughs> but he made the world and he made it beautiful and it's still going to be beautiful, in it? Yes. But God's still God and he's still on his throne. And our time has come and gone tonight. But we're so thankful that you've been with us. And my prayer, my friend, is that if we never meet here on this earth, that we'll meet in the next world to come. Jesus, we're waiting for you. Good night from the studios at WLJC. Welcome to the Hour of Harvest. It is great to have you with us as we worship the Lord. Sit and back and enjoy as we Thank you for being part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope that you are truly blessed and encouraged every time you watch. This program is made possible by your contribution and support. Would you become a financial partner of the Hour of Harvest with a one-time or monthly offering? You can send your pledges of support to the Hour of Harvest, Post Office Box Y, Beattyville, Kentucky, 41311, or visit us online at www.hourofharvest.com. We also accept Venmo and PayPal. Just scan the QR codes to donate. God bless you.